Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a circle. And this circle has two external tangents. This one and this one. And the second external tangent or the tangent at the bottom is actually divided by a perpendicular line which is 90 degrees to the tangent at the bottom this 90 degrees and it is divided into two parts six units and four units and we are required to find the radius of this yellow circle okay so but before we solve this problem let us have a review of some theorems about this tangent relationships in this uh, circle okay so the two important theorems related to tangents of circle are as follows theorem one the tangent makes a circle at the point of tangency within the radius of the circle so for this in our case if we have this radius drawn towards the tangent point then this radius is actually 90 degrees with this tangent line and also if we draw this another radius to the next tangent point or point of tangency we have this perpendicular line okay so for theorem 2 the lengths of the two tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal so these two external tangents are equal. So why is that so? Because if we draw this a line from the center of the circle towards the point of tangency or the intersection of the two tangents, we actually form two right triangles. Okay, so next is we consider these two angles. They are actually opposite the radius, the two radius, we opposite that are, so they are actually, since they are opposite a length that are equal, so these are actually congruent, these two angles. And if this is actually an angle, we say this as A and A, then this angle, since they are two right triangles then this angle must be a complement of this angle a for the two triangles so let us say that this is b and this should be b also because another comp complement of the next a this one so this is b also so and these two angles actually are in between them they have a common side and that are actually coinciding and congruent and by ASA ASA congruence these two triangles are congruent because of these two angles and in between them that are are uh, is I mean a segment that is congruent so if these two triangles are congruent then these two sides are this one side is actually congruent with this other side so we have proven theorem 2 okay so next is we make a review of this tangent secant theorem so if a tangent segment and a secant segment so in this case the tangent segment is this this four unit segment this is the tangent segment in our case and are drawn from a circle from to a circle from an exterior point then the square of the measure of this tangent segment if we square this let's say this is this is this is four and four square it is equal to the product of the measures of the secant segment so this is the whole secant segment and its ex external secant segment so if this is a and this is b then 4 square is equal to a b 
Okay, so 4 square is the square of the tangent segment is equal to the second segment, which is A, the whole length. So we have A times B, which is the exterior secant. So that is the tangent secant theorem. Okay, so first thing we need to do, and we notice that since there are tangents, two tangents outside the circle, then from based from theorem 2, these two tangents are equal. So since for this tangent at the bottom, it is given that it is divided into two segments, which is 6 units and 4 units, and this length or this tangent segment based on theorem 2 is equal to this segment so if the tangent segment at the bottom is 6 and comprised of 2 6 and you have 6 units and 4 units then we simply add this add this 2 to get this segment above the tangent segment so this will be 10 units okay so next is we notice this segment which is drawn from the upper tangent the upper point of tangency downwards to this other tangent at the bottom which is drawn perpendicular to the second tangent at the bottom and as you can see we form a right triangle in this right triangle uh, this has an the side which is opposite this 90 degrees which is 10 this 10 this means that this is the hypotenuse so and this is the other leg the six unit and we are i mean we need to find this to find this length this length this is actually the other leg of the right triangle okay so we label this as b okay so b is equal to the square root of by using pythagorean theorem we have 10 square minus 6 square so we have b is equal to the square root of 100 minus 36 or b is equal to the square root of 64 so b is equal to 8 units okay so next is we need to apply this tangent secant theorem so because as you can see this vertical line is actually a secant to this circle in this four unit line or segment is actually the tangent segment towards this point of intersection so it is best that we use the tangent secant theorem we need to get use the tangent secant theorem because if we draw a line from this point and this downwards for this type of problems we usually draw the radius to be the hypotenuse of the right triangles formed between the uh, lines this vertical segment and this horizontal segment so in this case we need to get this length by using the tangent secant theorem so because we need the value so we can get what we need to subtract from r to get this length because this will be a right triangle later we need to get this value let's say that this is x so we will use tangent secant theorem so we will need to get what we will subtract from the radius r minus x and this is 4 and this will be the hypotenuse of this uh, right triangle which is the radius of the circle 
So if we need to get x, then by tangent secant theorem, earlier we need to square this tangent segment. So we have 4 squared is equal to the tangent segment as a whole. And that is 8 because earlier we got this 8 unit length. So we have 8 times the exterior secant we labeled as x. So we have x. So 8x is equal to 16. So we divide both sides by 8. So we have x is equal to 2. So this x is equal to 2. Okay, so now that we got this value, the 2, that we need to subtract from r to get this length. So this length will be, since this is 2, this will be r minus 2. And this length is given to be 4, the other leg, this is the other leg, the external tangent segment. And this is the radius drawn from the center of the circle to one point of the circle intersecting to these two vertical and horizontal to these two lines that are vertical and horizontal. So this is R. So we focus on this triangle and use Pythagorean theorem to find the radius of the circle. Okay, so by Pythagorean theorem, the radius is the hypotenuse squared. So R square is equal to uh, one leg, which is R minus two. Square that, and the other leg, which is four. This is actually four. So plus four square. So if we simplify, we have R square is equal to R square minus four R plus four. Uh, 16 and we simply cancel this r square and r square and we put this negative 4r from the left hand uh, from the right hand side to the left hand side so it becomes positive 4r is equal to 16 plus 4 this becomes 20 so we divide both sides by 4 and r will be equal to 5 units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So you will be updated for more videos like this. Thank you. Bye.